like you guys been doing these trips for a long time yeah like you, you and uh, Adri like and, and Tela is like stay super active like always working on projects what's like uh, like what's the deal you're like you're so motivated with that like what, what's the you guys all push each other what's the story there you once say it very very well it's uh, the passion you know the passion <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's uh, I don't know we've been friends uh, since a long time ago and that's what we have more fun doing so it's uh, yeah there's nothing else we're gonna do now that it's gonna make us more happy mm-hmm. than just like skating together and traveling the world and we m- met so many people uh, through that that it's always a good reason to reunite with everybody from like all over the the cloth you know like yeah, yeah you go to denmark you, you know somebody you know somebody you yeah know, you, you come to new york and there's people with open arms here to take you skate like like what you've been this week doing like mm-hmm. just taking us everywhere i mean like we were like little kids. Yeah, it's, it's sick. awesome, man. So. You guys were skating a lot this week. Yeah. Um, Damn, I've been missing out. It was like one day of rain, but we skated a lot. Yesterday was a busy day. Yeah, yeah. I can tell. Yeah, you yeah, guys got done at two a.m. Yesterday was a busy day. Big haven't, session yesterday. Haven't skated like that since Nino. Yeah, what time did you guys start yesterday? <laughs> to yesterday, we started around twelve. Oh shit! So you skated like in the morning. crazy hours, and oh. this guy didn't take his skates off. Like I was like taking my skates off, riding my bike, putting uh-huh. my skates back on. You straight up had your skates on the whole time. Yeah, because we're just skating <laughs> all I'm day. Like filming, and then when, yeah. when somebody's getting a trick, I'm filming. Then the next one's getting a trick, I'm filming. Uh-huh. And then I'm Do you not stop? Something, I skate. And then, yeah, I just was with skates on all day. Because, I don't know, it's, uh, they're comfortable. So mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me ask you something, because I had this issue when I w- used to skate and film a lot more. Like, you film a lot, you skate also a lot. Do you, how do you balance both skating and filming? Because I used to find myself tired all the time of filming other people. Either the session would be over by the time I got someone's clip and I'd be like, oh, I don't even want to skate anymore. or like It's hard. Yeah. It's, it's hard because um, it's a lot of weight you're carrying with you. Yeah, that too. All around. Mm-hmm. Like Back in Barcelona, I'm mostly driving, which makes things easier. Oh, okay. But since, like you said, we're traveling a lot and mm-hmm. I'm always carrying the stuff. But I just enjoy it. Dude. Mm-hmm. Like it's like part of the game you know like mm-hmm. i like taking time to find spots like it's just part of all the thing you know like um it's tired but at the end of the day you're like oh we did so much it. you know it's like mm-hmm. so worth it so mm-hmm. and it's it's exercise it's like uh, oh yeah definitely you know, it's exercise like keep you healthy. how's your back your back good carrying the yeah, camera bag around a little and bit, a little yeah bit, but, um yeah um it's it's what i've been always doing so I don't feel it's a, a lot of work. Mm-hmm. I just enjoy it. I enjoy skating as much as filming. Or Right. And I enjoy when people land, land tricks as much as if I was landing the oh, tricks. Of course, yeah. It makes like, the vibe the, of, yeah. the, of the moment incredible. And mm-hmm. if like, you film it really good, you're like, oh, yeah, sick. yeah. And then, you, like, well, you love watching it much, just as much as the person who did the trick wa- yeah. likes watching it. Yeah. And then he's stoked and then he wants to skip, uh, skate more. And like, you know, it's like, you can be super juiced to skate, but the, if the people around you is not juiced, mm-hmm. it's not the same. Oh, yeah, of course. It's like, so it's like the energy is just going yeah, back and forth. It's like yeah. magic. It's like you put the right elements and just magic mm-hmm. happens. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, magic. Yesterday night, dude, you got to, like, what, three clips at 1.30 in the, in the morning? <laughs> oh, morning. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, it's Damn, fun, Big Bill still got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I, I woke up today, like, not resting and a little sore. I was like, ooh. A little sore. A little sore? <laughs> a little sore. The sore's good every once in a while. Yeah, it's good. But in the soul, you felt good. No? In the soul, it felt oh, good. That was great, man, with the homies and everything. Yeah. I think that's the thing about, like, those trips that, like, you guys been... I don't even know how that started. That Like, all these trips that, like, m- maybe Bina started it or mm. or maybe Daffic or is, maybe or just whoever did it. Yeah, but how did like, that start? You're always a part of these, like, really cool trips. Like, you did, what, Peru? Yeah, way before everyone. that. Like, this, the thing is, when I first came to the states um when you guys were living at the shredwise house Mm -hmm. house i met all of you guys there uh i met dafik there like uh yeah that was for the americana that i that we all met and ever since then we've been like reuniting every year if possible if it was possible Mm -hmm. because my situation was that i in back in barcelona i moved to a house so i was it was easier for me to allow people to stay in my in our place and uh, not that easy for my wife but <laughs> she handled it very good uh-huh. 
so yeah people was hitting me up like hey you are you gonna be able to like can we stay in your house for like some weeks and then people started taking uh like a month uh, trip to barcelona uh, or like and mm -hmm. then we i would let them stay in my house and yeah after that we kept like doing this every summer and one day we're like oh, what if we do a tour like the one we did in Americana, but like in europe or we traveled somewhere all together uh, i don't know let's say we knew people in denmark why don't we tour in denmark and <laughs> so it's always been like a kind of the same group of people meeting in right in like a Just different parts of the world mm -hmm. yeah around the world yeah mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah those trips end up being really sick too that that NT trip was it looked so for, it looked just so gnarly. It looked like hard work too, man. Yeah, it's but it's what we're saying. At the end of the day, like it doesn't feel like work. It just feels like oh, that's a crazy experience. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you're just skating around yeah. a city, a new city, exploring with your friends that yeah. you've been training so many incredible times. Yeah, and you just want them to keep going. Like yeah. you're like you're working like for so long, <clears throat> but in your mind you're like oh, okay, now it's time to work, but. I know in six months' time I'm gonna be like reuniting with the homies mm -hmm. and like skating everywhere and like what it brings with the skating it brings like the the life you know like the yeah. like the going, experiences experiences yeah. like visiting places that you know like in Tenerife we were skating but we were doing so much shit like yeah so much going to the ocean in the mornings mm -hmm. and just eating in the typical places from the place and like you end up just living like a family because yeah. Like, you you gotta you gotta handle things like with a group of big group of people mm -hmm. so everyone cooks a big breakfast in the morning or like yeah. a nice dinner a big family family it's a family yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a family yeah, yeah, yeah. vacation yeah yeah <laughs> it's a family vacation yeah that's really nice yeah it's a lot of work and like it's very tired like it, you get exhausted but you keep going every day like mm -hmm. every morning mm -hmm. and then you come back to the house like like you I come back to Barcelona with my wife and she's like oh you tired but you were on holidays i'm like yeah technically <laughs> yeah. i was on holidays but i was like doing a lot of stuff so i'm tired <laughs> a lot of physical activities yeah. happen on these holidays so when you go to all these places how do you scope out spots to skate do you have shit planned do you meet up with locals is it just a mix of like just f venturing off on your own it's a mix of some pre-work and i hear you're a google maps yeah. master yeah. psycho yeah, <laughs> yeah. psycho can you explain that for people so okay it um Back in the day when I wasn't driving, uh, we, with Adri and people from Barcelona, I would just walk and take the metro to one stop that we have never been there and just walk around, like maybe try and find something. And it would take maybe like three hours to get to a spot. We would find it and then we wouldn't be able to skate because we were so tired. So when Google Maps uh, started, we were like, oh, we can save that time. Like just by doing it, sitting down <laughs> yeah, in the yeah. computer, just scrolling around. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, you just like maybe see a video and you see like a skateboard or BMX video or whatever, and you see like something that is uh, familiar, and you just like, for example, read the sign in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I think this is maybe in uh, a neighborhood. You know, like there's a shop or something. Mm -hmm. So you just Google it and boom, like you find it pretty much. Yeah. I, not always, but a lot of time is you reading do you spend like hours doing it because it's yeah it seems like it's time consuming yeah uh but it it saves you so much time i guess yeah, yeah. Dude, like, what, i'm sure than actually going out to a spot when we went to tenerife they had everything pinned yeah like see that's that's so legit. many spots that's legit. Like, maybe just, one day you know, one day without the google map thing you could be spending uh three hours in one area and maybe find one thing mm -hmm. and with that you planify well so you got everything lined up to okay in this area we have this in this area we have this so mm -hmm. we just fucking save so much time yeah it was mm. just like that's so clutch so efficient it yeah crazy. efficient that's it what it is everyone's so efficient. adult yeah. with their travels now yeah, that like, was what, that you wouldn't have done that when you were like th even if google maps was around when you were like 13 you wouldn't no. have done that no that's yeah. so funny that it's like that now do you do that at home in like barcelona too or you don't even need yeah, to yeah yeah i mean if i got like maybe like <coughs> one hour in the morning whenever i can i don't do it every day but mm -hmm. if i'm like if I know I'm going to go somewhere, I really make sure that that place has spots. But yeah. Because uh, for that Tenerife trick, Bina was mentioning like crazy places be uh, to go. 
and I like had been like Google mapping. I was like, dude, there's, I haven't seen anything in Mongolia, you know, like <laughs> Mongolia. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing in Mongolia. Yeah, I mean, that, <laughs> there was an it was an option. So yeah, we <laughs> it was an o- yeah. It, it is an option. Yes, you are right. We we Google <laughs> mapped around there, and we're like, it looks incredible, but I don't think it's gonna be that easy. So I knew that in Tenerife, there's always been people going there to skate. Mm. So all we needed is a little bit of extra time in Google Maps to find like where the spots right. were. Mm-hmm. So, so, but it's yeah, it's part of the game too. You know? Yeah, like, um, Google Maps changed the skate game. They don't even know yeah, that. People yeah. like Google don't even know that. Shout yeah. out Google Maps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. episode is sponsored by Google Maps. Yeah, Google. <laughs> you want a sponsor? 